Sugar here. Hey, it's God Girl. I'm a Christian YouTuber, and even if you're not Christian, I encourage you to watch my YouTube videos. And today is Fun Friday, where I do something random and cool to uh, end the week and start the weekend. And t today I'm going to be doing a Q and A, and I'm gonna do the skit next week because I thought, why would I do a Q and A? then a skit, then a Q&A. Like, shouldn't I do them back to back? So, today is Q&A part two. If you would like to watch the first one, then I will put the link in the description below. And before we start, I will tell you today's Bible verse. And today's Bible verse is Romans 9 31 and I will give you a few seconds if you would like to get that out to like read along or take some notes ready okay so today's Bible verse is Romans 9 31 as I told you before and it says what shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? And I love this Bible verse because it's so true. God will always be there for us no matter what we do. Even if we're in the highs and we feel like we don't need him. And especially when we're in the lows and we feel that Everything's falling apart and we really need him. God is always going to be for us. And we have to know that no one will be against us as long as God is in our lives. As long as we worship him and as long as he, his spirit lives. Because God's spirit never dies. All worldly things eventually fall apart. Your phone eventually breaks. People eventually, some like friends eventually will go away. And certain family members will also fade away or fade away as in go to heaven but God's spirit never will fade away from you and what we all need to know is that even if we feel that God doesn't love us you're probably uh, some of you might be saying, well, God girl, how can God love me with all of these horrible things that I've done in my life? All of the, the hate that's in my life, everything that I've said, everything that I do, why would God love me? Well, I want to tell you, friend, that no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter who you talk to, no matter what your past is, God still loves you. And He will always be there for you. So let's start the Q&A and today I have 10 qu more questions from you, for you. And these are from some of my close friends. Uh, they're around my age or probably a year older. And I love getting Q&As and getting questions from you guys because I get to give you answers that maybe you don't get 
in daily life. And sometimes these answers are so hard that I can't even, I don't even know what the answer is. So question one is from Amanda. And as we learned last week, Amanda gave me half of these questions. So I just want to give a shout out to Amanda and say thank you so much. And it says, do you worship God the same way others do? You know, not everyone will worship the same way. But I think the true question is, why do I worship the God I do? But to answer this question, no, not all the time. I will not worship the same way that everyone does. And that's okay because it's my relationship with God. It's my relationship with Him and it's personal. This is my baby sister. Say hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. This is for my YouTube. <laughs> okay. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. I talk. Okay. Wait. Sorry about that. But as I was saying, Amanda, it's my personal relationship with God. And there are people out in my house. Please just ignore that and tune in. And so I, when I worship, I will scream God's name. I will seeing his praises, I get on my knees, and people call me crazy, but you know, it at least I'm crazy for God. And that is the best crazy to be. So, let's go to the next question. And this is from Alexandria. And it says, Why is there evil in the world? And you know, Alexandria, the reason why there's evil in the world is because there's a God and there's a devil. There's always the other side of good, and that's evil. But you know what we need to do? We need to show those evil people and change those evil things and Show them the ways of God. And the reason why there's evil in the world is because there's a devil. And he likes to see the evil. He, he, the devil's lonely. The, so he wants to bring us down with him. But we, what we need to do is say, no, I want eternal life with freedom and beauty. And I don't want to be torn down. And I don't want to be torn up by your evil ways. All right, next question. Why does God give us free will? This is from Samantha. And the reason why God God gives us free will is because he doesn't want us to be forced into his kingdom. He wants to see what choices we'll make. And he gives us free will because when we have free will, we get to choose if we want God. He doesn't choose for us. 
So it's more special to have free will and choose God because that means that we truly want a relationship with him. Imagine there'd be people and they're like, I really don't want to worship this God, but I have to because I have no other choice. Wouldn't you feel miserable? But when you choose God, you choose his love and his beauty. So God wants to see what choices we'll make. Let's go to the next question. Is there an argument about the existence of God? This is another one from Alexandria. And there is an argument about the existence of God. Um, not everyone thinks that God exists. Sorry about that. As I was saying, yes, there is an argument about the existence of God. And uh, not everyone believes God exists. Some people need to see proof. Some people need to see an actual God right in front of their face in order for them to believe it's true. But they, the reason why they don't believe this is because they don't see the miracles. They just think it's luck. And us as God believers, we know that it's God working and it's his miracles. And I hear my mom all the time. She's like, it's God. It's God. It's not just luck. It's God. I hear, I'll say at school, wow, God has your back. And then there are some people that say, oh no, it's just luck. But you have to believe. Believing is not seeing. Seeing is not believing. They don't go together. When you believe something, you don't have to know. There believing in Santa. You don't see him. Right? Easter Bunny, you don't see him. Tooth Fairy, you don't see her. You just know it's there. Next question. Let's see. What's your favorite sport? This is another one from Amanda. And I'm not really a sports girl, so I don't really like sports too much. But... I'd have to say swimming, because I'm really good at that. All other sports, the ball just, I have a magnetic field in my face, so it's like, yeah. And probably every single sport, I've gotten hit in the head with the ball. So yeah, I don't really like sport. Next question. Does God choose if you go to heaven or hell, or is it? on all on you this is from batman which is my friend Alyssa. and this is like the last question which was it i think it was last week but god doesn't choose Yes, eventually he does, but it's because you have free will. Yeah, it was one of these questions. Does, why does God give you free will? As I said, God gives us free will because he wants to see if we choose him or the world. The word or the world. And it all depends on your choices, what you do in the world. What if you like, what 
what would you choose? Godly or worldly? Do you want to read the Bible? Do you want to go to church? Or do you skip church to go to a party? And I swear, I'm guilty of it too. I'm guilty of skipping church to doing because I want to do something else. I am. I've done it before. I. What I remember one time I was getting ready for a party. It was my best friend's birthday party, and I was getting ready and painting my nails. And because of that, I missed church. I missed the service. And my sister and my mom say it all the time. I should have been there. And I feel so guilty. Sometimes we do choose the worldly thing instead of choosing the godly thing. I've done it. We've all done it. And mostly it's on you. If you want to go to heaven, then you'd have to follow God. But if you don't, chances you're not going to heaven. Next question. What's your favorite cow? From Alyssa. This is a different Alyssa. I really don't know any other cows besides the ones with black dots. The white ones with black dots. So I'm just going to say a regular old cow. I know bulls are like male cows, but I don't like bulls. They like hurt people. <laughs> so next question is another one from Amanda. And it says, what's your favorite song and can you sing it for us? Now, I put a link in my last video. And it's Jamie Grace. One of the links was her last video the on the Jamie Grace show and she's an actual Christian singer and she wrote this song I love her like she's my favorite singer of all time and it's called every little bit of lovely and it's you lovely every bit of lovely don't you know that you got the original work of art Yes, you are. So don't ever let them tell you that you're less than wonderful. Because you're one and only. Yeah, you're every little bit, every little bit lovely. Yeah, I really love that song. It's one of my favorites. And actually, I am going to sing it for you this Saturday. And... It's beautiful. It's a beautiful song. You should go check it out. I'll put that one in the links below, too. And last question. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, second to last question. Have you ever been bullied? This is from Julia. And yes, I have been bullied. I get bullied all of the time. And it's sad, but I work through it because I know that God's going to get me through it. And yes, I have been bullied, but usually I, I'll get through it. Actually, this year, it's so funny. I was bullied for wearing Skechers. And it's the dumbest thing in the whole entire world. Because they're just shoes. I mean, there's people in Africa who have no shoes. So, yeah, I have been bullied for the dumbest reasons. Okay, let's get to the last question. Dun, 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 dun. This question is from Bianca. And it's, why can't God talk to us when we pray? Now, God can talk to us. But in our hearts, God talks to us in his word. But we can't physically hear him. 
but we can spiritually hear him. So we can't hear a voice, the voice of God, but in our hearts, we can. If you just open the Bible up to a random page, okay, and you pray and pray and you say, God, please give me the word of today. And then you put your finger on a page, you stop, and that is the word that God wants you to read and understand. And God is talking to you in that way. At church, all, all the time at church, I'll be like, man, this really touched my heart. This is the word God wanted me to hear. And we have come to the conclusion of our video. And I just want to say I love you guys so much. Thank you to all the Scripps subscribers. You guys are the reason why I do this. So I could show you guys the ways of God. And please put, uh, hit that subscribe button and put down a like. And today's comments question is, what questions do you have about God? And then I'll answer them. And I love you guys so much. And again, put down prayer requests. I would love prayer requests. And what am I forgetting? Right. Let's pray. <laughs> Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you do. Lord, thank you for these beautiful people that are watching my videos right now. And thank you for all of these questions and the beautiful people that gave me these questions, Lord. Lord, I pray for everything that's happening in the world right now, Lord. Please just put your hand over all of us. And I love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And again, I love you guys so much. Prayer requests, please. And I will be praying for all of you. And I hope you guys have an amazing week and a wonderful weekend. And I hope you tune in for Singing Saturday tomorrow and have a fabulous, fun day.